the turnstile tech here. How does that change your prep process as a director? Are we talking basically like like doubling your storyboards? Uh, good question. I had an I I did have a an intent early on when I knew that we would have to accommodate for people who were holding the phone either widescreen or vertical. Um, and so I said, should I have two monitors on set? Should I make sure that we're shooting roulette? And, um, and uh, that would never happen. Like you're, you know, it's a set, so you're moving at breakneck kind of speed. And so what we did was uh, the DP and I and, and my production designer talked ad nauseum you know, before day one about, um, in prep, we spent a lot of time talking about what is the most satisfying way to tell this story for somebody, because I know how to tell a story horizontally, I've never told a story vertically, right? None of us had. If you're holding the phone like this, um, what's the most satisfying way for an audience to feel like they are getting the whole entire story and not missing pieces because we usually see in wider aspect ratio and we're used to seeing that way and if we don't see that way we feel like we're losing information because there have been other series that tried to do this vertical storytelling i, I watched them i felt like wait I'm, I'm what's going on on this side of the screen so very um very quickly realized we couldn't just say, okay, screw you if you're holding it vertically, we don't care, just hold, hold it horizontal, horizontally, especially since phones are designed to be held vertically. So we started to talk about what about depth? You know, what about instead of thinking east-west, you think north-south, you know, or actually, I'm sorry, you think A to Z, you know? So how do I create as much depth inside the frame? Because whether it's horizontal or vertical, I'm gonna feel that and make sure that the information that audiences get holding vertically or horizontally is, is constantly at the edges of frames so that they're never feeling like they're missing anything. So for example, um, we made sure that we pushed aisles together closer in, in like the gas station. You know, there was constantly layers, uh, depth layers that we were shooting through. Claire was always moving through spaces that were interesting and, and, and full of like, life like the train station you know chinatown plaza you know the train itself you know the chairs the, the lights there's always something moving and giving you more information the toughest thing is the movie opens up on two people sitting in a car so so what we talked about then was um you know to respect kind of the the the, the dark element and the dark tone of what evolve slowly in that car between these two people, keep the camera moving, but very slowly and hit different, hit the side of her cheekbone, hit the rear view mirror where you see her eyes, hit Carl's E's eyes, you know, just keep kind of, keep the camera moving in ways that maybe the audience isn't aware of, but they are subconsciously constantly getting information.